Hi, this is a trusty crowbar review of the Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Spider racing wheel for the Xbox One. Broom, 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 broom. And we got to have a go of this over the past week and a bit, so we've given it plenty of time to fiddle around with it. So uh, let's have a quick discussion on what we thought of the wheel. Let's do. Okay. Yeah, it's like transition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start off with basically like the physical characteristics and stuff of it. So, what what are your thoughts, guys, on on the actual wheel, like the the actual steering wheel itself? Oh, the wheel. That's right. Itself. Turn it away from the camera. Yeah, but that's no. fine. Um, um, I think it looks so. very pretty. The rubber, the red rubber on it, looks very very nice. Are we actually talking about what it looks like? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly that's, what we're going yeah. with that. Okay. <laughs> so the the aesthetic of the wheel is actually kind of quite really good. Like I like the red and the black, like the contrast between yeah. the two is quite nice, especially with the the metal um, flappy paddles that we got at the back. Now they're actually 100% metal. They're and, aluminum. And playing yeah, and playing with them as opposed to just plastic ones, they feel a lot better. Yeah, I was like really smashing them when yeah. I was changing gears and they felt like yeah, they would take a flogging. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are quite tough. No, like you did. Yeah, I feel over extended yeah. use that they would definitely hold up. Let's click it for everyone. And the actual feel, the actual look of it is, and you took the piss out of me when we did an unboxing, was, is from... I wish you had, what car was it that? It was from the Ferrari 458. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and it matches fine. up perfectly in Forza Horizon 2. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I actually really purchased cool. the actual Ferrari 458 car in Horizon 2 and um got to have a look at the wheel on screen versus the wheel in front of us and they were very spot on. Yeah. yeah. Um when you turn the wheel in game, all your little buttons are all perfectly modeled. Even the the sizing seems pretty mm. bright like it seems like a smaller wheel well this wheel compared to other ones that we've actually tried this has got a much larger actual um steering wheel in comparison to like a uh, like a budget sort of racing wheel that you can sort of buy for under 200 dollars um those wheels are usually smaller whereas this is a full yeah, um, like realistic size. 28 centimeter diameter 28 centimeter diameter Racing wheel, diameter yeah. with what rubber, did you say? rubber textured grip. Yeah, and the, it I actually feels very comfortable. That, actually, the the rubber was really good to oh, use. Geez, right. I just like burped halfway <laughs> through, but held it in. No one ever noticed. No, of course not. Noticed. Um, so we got to use this on Forza Horizon, mm -hmm. and it does actually feel very, very, very nice to use. Um, when you set it up, obviously with the correct settings and whatnot, turning left and right and it's very responsive as well yeah the precision um is very uh good in this one especially like just the slight little turn of the wheel will actually turn the car and stuff and i know a lot of it is software development and stuff but one when, when the software is designed well it's the hardware which has to catch up with that yeah. now this actually connected really well with the game that the slight turn actually had started to turn but the, the delay was quite good like it was responsive yeah like i found and even I guess responsive in terms of in-game mechanic, but even in-game animation with the on-screen uh, guy moving his hands. Like, it, it felt... Very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Now, it does have the um, bungee cord, which is a patented automatic centering uh, system by Thrustmaster. Yeah. Um, so that and when you actually turn the wheel all the way, and we're going to do that right here on the video, turn the wheel all the way, it will bounce back. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> You're going to hold that. I'll hold it. Hold that, yeah. Turn it all the way, and you got... <laughs> it actually now, bounces back and centers, which is And when you excellent. do that on Forza, your character does that as well. Yeah, which is actually really cool. Like doing, you know, doing a um, uh, like a U-turn and stuff and you literally can let go of the wheel oh, and it will bounce back. Let it snap back. Yeah, the thing that awesome, I get so. very interested in is this little cord for Xbox. So this actually pulls apart. So mm. if anyone's being quite silly, then you don't break your whole, you know, ent entertainment unit. Yeah, by pulling everything down. Luke, I want to call you out on something that I don't know if you actually utilized on the system. The little adapter on the back. Does the connect. That... Yeah, so yeah. did you discover I didn't try to use So that, that was just for um, controller pairing detection. Ah. Yeah, so when you did, I did actually use it with the connect and it literally just pairs you. So, because the connect logs you in, so yep. if you sit in front of it, it will know, hey, you're there, and I'm going to connect you to the racing wheel. Oh, sweet! Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's a really yeah. good idea. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll talk about the pedals. The pedals feel very, like pretty comfortable. Um, they're they're pretty light, so you need to get them onto a very comfortable and solid ground. I think like carpet is perfect for them. Yeah, because carpet sort of holds them there but on like a wooden floorboard so or tiled surface, they will slide. Let's point out what we all played at. So we played at this here table. 
Yep. Um, so we're obviously sitting a little bit more upright than you ordinarily would in your lounge room. Um, but in terms of, but once again, I guess this is whether it's hard coded software or whether it was Forza software, but uh, within the accelerator, there was probably quite a large amount of- Dead zone. Yeah, definitely before. So, you know, that, oh, I guess if we go sideways might be easy to see. Is that in shot, Reese? can you see? Yeah, um, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in terms of like probably from there to there, nothing well, that's really- the break. Well, yeah. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah. I'm back to front. You're like, but, uh, I wasn't driving. Yeah. Uh, that's why we yeah. weren't going anywhere. So, yeah, um, there was like at least maybe 30 to 40% of the initial press down. Yeah, there's was, a dead zone for it yeah. and doesn't have much progression in terms of the acceleration for it. Yeah. However, the uh, so but when you do get past that initial percentage there, there is a progressiveness to yeah, like, the was, speed that you can go. It was actually it, really good. But um, in terms of it was really good increments however because it was then relatively short of what it had left it was then if you wanted to hold yeah a, a pace it then was a little difficult because i suck at racing games it just spun out all the time now the brake has that progression as well that you can actually just put a little bit of brake on to you know slow the car down a little bit however the way we race we literally just well, slam the brake horrible down. races yeah we should put out put out <laughs> we should put out we should point out that well, definitely, I do not participate in a lot of racing games. No. Reese, neither. But Luke is probably the most out of out of us three. Yep. Um, um, what else? Did, the, I want to, in terms of other buttons and things, feel and uh, oh, I get to touch it. Yeah, you get I to found it. just the general we can quality. Move that. Oh, we can move that now. Can we? I found the general quality of all the buttons really good. Like they they felt really solid uh, and responsive. What I like about um, this wheel is that there's no buttons on the actual wheel yeah that you're on holding the, on the yeah. yeah it's all in like the center and it's not too far away from where your thumbs go yeah now i did find um on the very back of the wheel if I, ugh, I can't even reach over so the back here in there is actual two other buttons and stuff and they're actually changing gears as well so if you're holding it a little bit differently you can change gears like that as opposed yeah. to doing the flappy paddles yes. um engine start is actually the d-pad and reese had a little bit of a Bit of trouble. Bit of grow. I think I was, just down. More, I was pushing it way too hard. Yeah, it's just a slight it's, little press. So once, once you get used to it, you can navigate. You know the menus and stuff with it. Yeah. Um, the Which, pairing and stuff straight off to the console stuff like works straight away, and it was your controller to navigate. You yeah. Know, all the menus and stuff with the Xbox. What so. Reese has just picked up now, I found that it connected. Obviously, we just ha <laughs> we just had a really nice flat table connected perfectly. Yeah. It's very seemed, simplistic. Yeah. It seemed to have a good level of adjustment that even if you didn't have a perfectly flat table, I think you'd still still be able to use that on a lot of different surfaces. Yeah. yeah. Now just, what it does is it goes in in the bottom here connects up to it and you actually tighten it up and this actually closes up and connects up to the table and then your feet are adjustable and that so, will yeah. hold it in position so right there. It's, all in all it's a very simple setup um and it's very easy to set it up via the xbox correct mm. yep yeah and plug it in and play but um and then i guess in terms of yeah, steering the steering wheel itself using it it felt solid as well like i like i was saying i was definitely giving it a thrashing when I played, um, and apart from our rickety table, uh, I felt like it, it definitely didn't feel like it would have buckled under, no, under just, like extended. Your television use. was moving more, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, That's I good. could sort of say, um, like as sort of a final thoughts yep. on it, like for a sub $200 racing wheel, now it is just Xbox One, which is fine because there's some great racing games <clears> on that. But this one is like ideal. Like if you only got you know under two hundred dollars to spend, um, this is great. I really like this wheel. I thought but it was worth the money. I think um, you probably not for the necessarily for the the most serious fan. Like you, you'd probably spend more. Like for probably someone like Reese or I. Like you know I enjoyed using it. You yeah. know I don't know if I needed anything more. So I don't know. How, I think it's a good more, entry level. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would totally agree yeah. with that. And you're not wasting your money for like the price that it is. It's, it's great. The um, the pedals are fine, even though there is a bit of, you know, the dead zone and stuff, um, especially when you're pushing down on it, but works but let's, fine. Let's just say, when you play racing games, you go pedals at the moment. Yeah. But <laughs> I think, well, we do. That's why we're bad. Yeah. I think that's probably good, like, just so you 
you do have to apply a little bit of pressure. Like it was probably more just getting used to it, like yeah. more than anything. It's a learning curve. That's that thing. When you go from a controller to an actual steering wheel and pedals, that happens. So yeah, all in all, yeah, I'd really, be- really nice one for people that just enjoy car racing games. Yeah, if yep. you want to take it to that next level beyond just using controller, it definitely it engages you more. Where whether it's easier. I don't. I think it's definitely adds a you know a little bit more difficulty to to the racing experience. But I suppose that's probably what people are after. That's the thing. I, I, it does when you do get a steering wheel, the difficulty does go up because you've got a few extra things that you got to think about, like especially the actual full direction that you are turning the wheel, as opposed to just to, left or to just your right thumbs, exactly and stuff. Right. Um, and I do find like in when you're using a controller in racing games, you tap the brake button and you tap the accelerator button yeah. Yeah, whereas in this a it's, it's a lot harder to do with your feet yep. so the more realism is definitely in the racing wheel um one thing on the realism thing that i would point out specifically for forza to horizon uh that lucas and i found like playing initially when it still had all the steering assist modes on definitely was nowhere near the same experience once you switched on simulation mode disabled stability control abs brakes um it definitely become a whole lot more fun to play with these yeah most yeah. racing games try to carry you through especially with a controller whereas yeah. if you turn all that off the, the steering wheel becomes more of an actual steering i wheel think if it. anything it was probably almost detrimental because yeah. you would do something and you weren't probably getting that one-to-one yeah. you would think that you should like as a person that can drive a car when you go around a corner, you think you should be steering back. However, the game would decide different type of patterns and stuff for you. But for the average person home, like you'd have stability control on in your car and a lot and yeah. traction control. But it's definitely worth. Like for anyone that did purchase this, that'd be and specific on Forza. And I guess if any other games, I'd definitely say a lot more fun with uh, it turned into that mode. Even and that's from someone that's not hardcore racing fan yeah yeah so that that would be my one little tip of the day cool now this steering wheel retails for 199.95 in australia you can check it out from jb hi-fi or eb games um or thrustmaster themselves mm-hmm. Suss it out yeah cool go buy one we also did an unboxing video of this so you can check it out here on this <laughs> link here Maybe Thanks somewhere. for tuning in to our trusted crowbar review of the thrustmaster ferrari 458 Spider, racing wheel. <laughs> did you get it right? For the Xbox One, did I? Yeah, yeah, I did. I think so. Yeah. Awesome. And I want to say, I'm Douglas Bright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Reese Whittingsley. And I'm Lucas Whittingsley. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Bye.